I had to return to Glasgow that weekend. To see your family? How are they? Well, they're very well. They must miss you, considering how much time you spend in London. They understand that work must always come first for me. So, where do you want me? Sorry? Uh, where do you want me to pose uh, for the portrait? Oh, right. <laughs> you were serious about that? Of course. Right, well, um, eat up because you have to be still for several hours while I work. Oh. <laughs> oh, here, try that. Oh, thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh, they're lovely. Mm, yes, my mother's recipe. Oh, here, you have a little... Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> you do too. <laughs> <laughs> You are the love of my life. Then how could you leave me? I wish I could split myself in two. What about the Federation? Oh, you don't need me. I don't know if I can do this on my own. You are the strongest person I have ever known. It is a frightening time, kid. Always a frightening time. It will soon be over. You promise I'll return? I promise, my love. Don't go. Let us enjoy this last night together. I can't. It's too painful. Up, Up to the people! Down to the people! The people. people. Here, Hardy has been the greatest human of our time! Yes! The first Labour Member of Parliament. For years he was absolutely alone. That's yeah, right. That's right. He toiled to awaken the Labour movement to the great need for the enfranchisement of women. When enthusiasts asked him to choose a motto, he would choose votes for women and socialism for all. Votes, votes for, for women, women and socialism, socialism for all. We must heed these words now more than ever as this war threatens to devastate the most impoverished. Henceforth, the East London Federation of Suffragettes will be called the Workers' Suffrage Federation. The, the Workers', Workers Suffrage, Suffrage Federation. Federation! We must keep up the fight against conscription and the fight for the vote. Fight, fight for the, the vote! vote. vote.